Uh, excuse me. Alright. Time to play Escaping the Prison. I can't, I can't, I can't click the buy window. Oh no! Oh, yeah. You're free to go. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Not really. But you've got a package. Ooh. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? <gasps> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. Not only lose my job. He's gonna lose his job. Endings that two secrets get donuts. I am not dumb. Okay, I bet. Uh, uh, file window. Ah! Pro tip <gasps> look before you leap. And as you can see, one second. And as you can see, we got a map. Yeah. Yoink. And it shows us all the fails. That's a crude round map. Uh, no, screw it. I'm doing the nitro drink. What the fuck is God? An echoey. Hmm. files eh. took his donut yeah home free yeah it tumbleweed it's fucking Nigga, side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibility of stroke and or heart attack. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, I already used it. A uh, teleporter. Damn. Ooh. You just can't see seem to get a hang of that thing, can you? Oh, rocket launcher. Yes. Doom! Oh, you've gotta be shitting me. What the fuck goes, what the fuck's here? Oh, uh, wait a minute, buddy. So I've done that, 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 that. I'm gonna go down the file again. But do the cell door. <laughs> Boom! Wow, got the reflection of a statue. Hint, you can defend yourself by tapping the alert. Oh, yeah? Really? Oh, wow. Bonk. Oh, no! <laughs> Dead. Looks like a taste. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there's another guard coming. Alright, fine, 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 I'm done bullshitting. Yep, yeah. oh. One. And. Two. Taste his balls. Hey, he's escaping. He's escaping! Oh, I already got that guy's bio. <laughs> Grenade! Yo, check yourself. Oh shit. What the? Uh, I don't even know what to say on that one. Yeah, I got all, I got all the fails before. Chair. Uh. Hmm. That way. I gotta do that again. Hold on, I think all the bios. Eh. Eh. I wanna grab the donuts. 
Motherfucker got a shotgun? Many hours of sh hours. many hours of jetpacking training before you're able to operate one. All right, cut to me reading that one other one right here. Welcome back. Let's go. Let's go play the game. Uh, parachute. Well, at least you survived. I think that was just a regular backpack. See what happens when you assume a rope. Dumbass. So, that seems awfully familiar. Uh, plungers. Effect. Yeah. Sneaky escapers. Let's go. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's go, boys. Off to Narnia. Wow. That's brown. There's another secret one that I really don't remember. I might come to me after I do that or another thing, but uh, no, no, next, no, 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 no. As the mayor. Oh, yeah. Ah, we're back. Uh, I did that, all that, all that. Let's go to the show. Pew. Bagel! Alright, uh, operator. Let's see, uh, just move the blue. Uh, operator, though. You want to get all those gadgets, girl, 2009. Just move the blue strider in the next day. Yeah, that's for cake. Let me see through for uh, you uh, uneducated folks. As you want. Uh, uh, son of a bit. I can do do do. I didn't get the donuts. I didn't get that guy either. So I gotta do it again. You think something like that would come up in the beta testing? <laughs> mm, donut. Da da da. Ah, uh, rubber. Yeah. Try dodging the bullets, noob. Uh, let's go up. Don't. Don't worry, I heard prison dentists are great. Down. Bonk. It always a good idea to watch where you're going, especially if you're running away from the cops. Uh, let's go down. <laughs> Law brawl reference. 
Well, brawl reference. Eh. <laughs> that was the other achievement. I don't get the reference though. I, uh, I might have to look it up. Uh, time to go to a school round backflip. My instinct said click, and I got the ending. What? <laughs> I know, there it is. <laughs> yeah, boys! Time to get out of here in style. Badass bust out, bro. <laughs> Let's go to a map real quick, do this. Come on, you were so close. And I'm right, back to here. To cell phone. September 9th, 1253, District Court, courtroom number four. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner, the armored man, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. He got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? Is that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Uh, my attorney's badge. Attorney's badge. Type other. One of my possessions. It's my all important badge to show that I am a defense attorney. Present. Let's take that! What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I, I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, guilty. Prisoners get all EBT fails. What kind of third-rate lawyer do you hire? I kind of want to see the rest. Uh, let's go. Mysterious device unknown found near southern wall. A device who uses whose use is unknown. Take that. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for trouble. I see no reason uh, for the prolonged trial. I find the... I think it's the same question, so I'm just gonna read them all gonna show you that. The right answer. So we got... Doctor analysis letter received from the detective. Doctor examination... Minute done after the rest. Defendants suffered many bruises and cuts. Are they that cool in it? Security footage. Diagram received from the screen video. Security footage the night that really showed the defendant leaving his disguise. Sitting up to the alarm. We got full pants. Diagram received from the detective. A diagram of the bank and the surroundings. And then a uh, disguise bag. Oh, they found on the dusty road. The bag that the defendant used to sneak into the bank. Be not the knot is tied on the outside of the bag. The outside. Take that. <laughs> is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. <coughs> if the defendant really was hiding in this bag. Then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? Hey, what? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there by this very witness. What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. 
The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bank, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? <coughs> why, to dispose of the body, of course. Of he course! The, bags of money in the, <coughs> bank, the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be happening to me! It can't be, bitch. Such a suck. Give me well, that certainly was an interesting trial. It However, was. I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, guilty. Well, not guilty. Ah, fuck. The rank loyaled up. I gotta quickly go over that real quick to get the last file. Take that. Uh, let's watch this again real quick so I get the last file. Is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes. But there's <coughs> one thing that's been bothering me. The defendant really was hiding in this bag. Then, how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. Exactly. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. Oh. He did it. What are you saying? What are you saying? You stupid fuck. that bag at all. He was, he was unconscious. By this very witness. <laughs> As you can see by the doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. I think it took quite the beating from the fucking explosives. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. Well, it can be because you're you're dumb well, that and you lost. Was an interesting trial. You idiot! I, I'm now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, not guilty. I gotta click on the fucking Indiana Jones one if he's taking a piss. All prisoner logs. Yeah. All that's done, all that's done, all the achievements are done, all of the stuff is done. They go to buy it now. Henry Stickman, he's short on cash and Show the cash. Show the get no, cash. Henry Stickman arrested for the attempted burglary of the bank. He now sits in Red Mesa Penitentiary. We got a uh, Rupert Price. He's been on the force for nearly eight years. He joined the police academy right out of high school. Nice. Uh, David Panama. Are they both Panama? No. no. David Panpa. He's new to the force and eager to do the job. Do a good job. Harold Ranson. He works as a computer and a janitor, but he also enjoys doing the maintenance work. Uh, 19 minutes. Let's go. Uh, Blade Knife Man McGee. Several mul serving multiple life sentences for multiple counts of murder. He's given himself the nickname Knife Man. We got uh, Kevin Poultry, he only became a cop because he knows cops eat donuts and he loves donuts. Would you, you won't catch him doing much police work. We got uh, Stump, Stump Blump, he was beat up a lot as a child because of his name for obvious reasons. We got uh, Ryan Goldman, Red Mesa Penitentiary Player of the Month for the month of June. Man, I wish I could put this in June. Carol 
brilliant. He works a desk job at the prison. He prefers it over doing it in the dangerous field. We got a straight shooter. Straight shooter. Literally changed his name to straight shooter. He spit hot fire and rap mad lyrics respect. And then we got a Jed Brown. One of the ministers of the prison. She kept it running in decent condition. Now we got John Farn, a rookie on the team. This is his first meeting he ever attended. We crashed it, yippee. Oh, excuse me. We got John Gritz, just got back from break up a fight. Just got back from breaking up a fight between two inmates. He didn't go so well. He just got beat up. Uh, John Sakajawayan. Sakajawayan? He joined the police force for the action, but he stuck him behind a desk. We got John Barley, failed out of firearm training three times. He technically is now allowed to use his weapon outside of the shooting range. We got uh, Captain Geoffrey Custard. 30 years ago, a janitor threw out his lunch. He's held a grudge against janitors ever since. Now we got um, John uh, Nugan. He's been quickly moving up the ranks, but needs to pass the Muxman exam. We got a uh, Captain Ronald uh, Canterbury, the man in charge of the officer training in Red Mesa, known to be very strict. Now we got motherfucker sleep unknown Hendrix, always sleeping on a job unknown. Nobody knows his first name. He's always passed out. And no one asks. Pete sounds notorious for taking food that isn't from his from in, the employee's fridge. Damn, motherfucker's a scammer, bitch. We got Sally Q, she often gets confused for someone else, which is strange because she doesn't even have red hair. Then we got uh, Gary Gary, constantly put on Everson duty, his least favorite job. We got Ungus Bungus, meet a harsh fate many, many years ago. That's met a harsh fate many, many years ago. Uh, Felix Wright. The city's most pronounced defense attorney. He works hard to initiate innocent people and not put away. We got Hubert Brown, one of the city's judges. It's very difficult to tell him apart from the other judges in the city. We got Valdemir Von Braun, nemesis to Mr. White. He's pretty cocky in his ability to put criminals away. This often becomes his downfall. We got, uh, Winston Davison. Yeah, the, the same Winston Davison from this fucking game. No shit. Well, fucking, um, he's been disposed due to his involvement in the bank. Bank breaking either way, he won't be going back to a job anytime soon. We got Chuck Samage. He works at Salad at Salad City and enjoys uh, his free sandwich on uh, so much every day. You got uh, Jono Grumpert. He received jury duty 27 year times this year. This can make even the most cherry man cynical. We got David Son hailing from the foreign country. This is his first time in the big city. We got Steve Steven grind away his job daily. His dream is owning a pizza shop. That's cute. And now we got Brent Smith. He's been on the force for six years now and yet there are still days that surprise him like the one he literally encountered today. We got Tom Hardley. He takes his job very seriously and never seems to take those sunglasses off. We got our Captain Ed Roberts, the chief of police here at Red Mesa. He runs in a tight ship and expects the best from all his candidates. We have Jimmy D. Park, fairly new to force, does not handle pressure well. We got Michael Benz, joined the force at the same time as his best friend. He's the clean shaved one. Matthew Felixer, he joined the force on the same day as the first one. He has a goatee. Yeah, let's see. They, they are friends, yeah. Now we have uh, Sean Sheen. This is his first day, uh, first day back from a nice vacation. He ruined it. Damn. We did, we did a lot of stuff. Well, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you want to, you can like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment, and share the video. I really don't care. Uh, this is a nice calm break for me literally just doing like two P ranks earlier. I am recording this acid after the Crest Cove one by the way. <laughs> and um uh 
Oh yeah, I'll, I'll say something. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That's all I gotta say for now. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.